<coughs> Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Ayatollah with another new video. Actually, in our, pre in our previous video, I have just shown you that how we'll create that barbering schedule and also how we'll create that uh, detailing, okay, that uh, I mean, that uh, strap or tight, uh, I mean, cross section of our beam or column detailing, okay, and also I have just shown you that how we'll uh, leveling that and also how we'll create barbering schedule for it, okay. So uh, it's done actually we have done in our previous video actually and in this uh, video in this video I'm just uh, going to show that how we'll create that detailing for our column or for our foundation okay so so uh, in this lecture I'm just going to show you about the foundation detailing so I'll just select that and move it little bit here so it's done and uh, escape now uh, it's done actually now I'll go here I'll just select that I'll, I'll make it little bit uh, small and click a scale and from here give here select the object this is this is the object actually enter first of all select it and then go for a scale and give her a scale for 10 okay otherwise we can ask uh, simply select it and we can go for sc then enter and i uh, specify the base point here the base point and give a scale I'll just make it 0 0.5 as a scale of 0 0.5 so it's okay now just see here it's now okay and also now I can move it here and also I'll rest of ortho mode and I can just move it here so it's done now in our next video I have just created that easter up okay I've just created that uh, easter up here now I'll just uh, go for our columns so simply uh, I'll go here home and from here I'll create polyline okay I'll just get polyline and I will consider I mean I'll create a column with respect to that point so from that point I'll go I'll just stop ortho mode and I'll go down actually our that column height was suppose three feet I'll just consider for sorry 3 meter then 3 and also you can give it 3m then enter so we will just give it 300 mm that means 3 meter okay it's done now we'll go in that direction uh, for our column height so I'll just consider that is Uh, 300 meter and I'll just consider this is in the 1 meter in that side and 1 meter in that side okay so I'll just consider 1 meter 1 meter means 100 then enter then I'll go down so I'll just um, go down and uh, I'll consider for 10 I mean uh, 200 50 mm depth then I'll go here 250 mm depth then I'll just also we can uh, increase our depth control Z also you can increase it, suppose 400 mm and then when it's done then I'll go in that side so one thing we have to consider till that point okay till that point our that value will be 100 I mean 1000 mm then uh, our with respect to that point it will be with respect to that point just see here with respect to that point it will be 164 sorry 106 uh, 1600 and also full value that will be 
2600 enter now we'll go top okay and from here i'll just take that point as a reference that point and also i'll take that point as a reference then i'll directly go here so it's done now see here it's done and now i'll take clear cover here what will be the clear cover actually mm, the total clear cover will be uh, 75 sorry uh, escape then click offset o then enter then 70 uh, 75 mm then enter then take offset for that line sorry i'll just i'll just select that point and i'll click explode so here explode now i'll just use offset enter then it's 75 enter and from here i'll just select that point here okay so um, when we have provided our that clear cover okay now i'll take a clear cover in that side also so again uh, escape then enter then specify the offset 75 it's done then from that side and also from that side okay and also from that side and also from that side so it's done so we have uh, successfully provider that clear cover okay in every side right and uh, for a perfect work i'll just take a polyline from that point to that point then that point and then that point then i'll skip and i will delete all of our line here then here then here then here just see here i actually have uh, deleted that line to draw on the bottom river okay so when we have, we have draw our bottom river okay when we have draw our bottom river now i'll just um, simply i will take that point as a river point after that i will just uh, draw our the main river here and one above it i'll just draw column river okay with development length so i will use 20 mm bar okay i will use 20 mm bar so as i'm using 20 mm bar that means first of all i will uh, go here for it so from here uh, auto river sorry here the water river then um, first of all i will click here poly bar so simply uh, specify the diameter our bar will be 20 mm then specify the object simply select that now see here our that bar have created okay or that bar have simply created all right now when our bar you have created now we'll go for our that uh i mean this is our suppose this is our one direction bar and now i'll draw our another direction bar so what will be the another direction bar our bar will be actually what are the distance from that point to that point actually from that point to that point that is uh, 260 i mean 2600 minus 75 into 75 that means i'll take that section now it's showing us a specify the diameter okay it's a specify the diameter and then a specific 20 mm diameter bar then a spacing okay what will be the spacing between every bar i'll just consider our spacing will be 175 okay 175 millimeter then enter um, a specify intersection a specify intersection point so our first point will be here okay and uh, our point will be from that point to that point sorry not that point i'll just stop ortho mode from that point to that point 
so if we see here just escape now it's almost done here so it's done from that point to that point with them with them are perfect spacing so when it's done just see here suppose we'll consider that our that uh, section is our that section is almost a square okay i'll consider our section is a square that's why i will draw one i mean uh, only one section and if you have a rectangle section then you can draw different section for your different side so when it's done now i will take offset for that point okay i'll take offset for that point so how to do the offset similarly i'll take offset then uh, click o then enter how to do the offset 75 mm as well or uh, okay then I specify that line here and that line here right when it's done now um, simply from here i'll go here home okay i'll go go here home and i'll select a polyline I'll select a polyline here and uh, from that point okay from that point with respect to that point I will from that point to I will start ortho mode I just go with respect to that okay with respect to I'll go with respect to that point uh, for that I think you can just simply take a line here or you can take a line here like that and after that we'll go for the extension suppose we'll extend our river till that point and you have to extend that point as per your requirement I mean as per your design requirement okay so when it's done similarly uh you can use that point okay otherwise you can simply uh, take a line and your one point is ready and you can draw your another point here okay with respect to that point and here till that point okay then escape it's done All right now when it's done now we can take more reinforcement with respect to that line okay so I'll just consider that point I'll consider that point as a point so from here I'll just consider a reverse section till that point then escape then again I'll go line or polyline then I'll take the point with respect to that point okay here simply uh, consider here then I'll go for it so I'll take the line till that point so escape so now our that line are also okay now we'll draw our river so to draw river we'll go here auto river okay then uh, our that line was polyline so you can simply click here poly river then bar sizes we can consider our bar sizes 16 mm okay 16 mm bar for column then select object so that was the object just see here our river have I mean our river is ready here okay our river is ready now we'll uh, go for that line so we have to create manual river here from a specific diameter the 16 mm okay enter then from uh, top from that top point to we have to go here till our bottom point so it's done actually i'll change it i mean i'll move it so again go here a river so take your uh, sorry is the diameter 16 then enter I specify the first point here is the first point and go here this is your second point it's done 
okay and I'll move it actually I'll escape I'll just select and simply by clicking here we can move it okay so actually when you will do it you can move it perfectly as per requirement actually I have uh, I do not get any uh, scaling here that's why uh, they have some little change also you can select that and you can you can select that okay you can select that here by clicking here and uh, first of all escape then by clicking that site the by clicking that site you can change it okay you can move it here just simply like that you can move it okay also you can move it zoom out escape sorry select that and simply you can move it in top so here let's stop your ortho mode then uh, here is your one point escape and also select that point and uh, here is your another point so like that you can move it okay actually they have no problem here you can move it as per your requirement also you can select that and you can make it little bit down till that point okay so when done now we'll draw for that point I'll just click river so from here select that point sorry diameter then 16 mm select that point then I'll go here till that point after that I'll go here that point and close so it's done now see here our that uh, section is ready okay our total section is ready now we have to go for detailing okay so in our next uh, I mean we have to go for schedule and bar bending schedule I mean okay so in our next video I'll just show you about its schedule and the requirement of reinforcement for that section so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that's helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and also like our video share our video with your engineer friend and also don't forget to leave a comment and uh, I think I mean I just want to tell you that your one comment and your own like inspires for the next track so thank you thank you very much